My spells are of no use in this matter, Commander. There is more to leading men than sorcery, Avernus. I will remind them that they're wardens. Men! I won't lie to you. All right, the this situation is, is grim. Moonstalker. Our forces outnumbered. Our bellies empty. And that our place for walkthroughs with Ruby Kuzma of Dragon Age Origins. We just had a crash, Dark and we're continuing on. Okay, right, up, right over here is a note. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? A plea from Commander Athlar. Okay, if you hold down your tab button, you see a note light up over here. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Another note from Van Woof. Oops, this is where we came in at. Looks like the speech is over. It's really hard starting a video up for when you got someone giving a speech in the background. <clears throat> Start recording, that is. Lots of little nuances that you come across when you start trying to record these uh, gaming sessions as you attempt to do a more professional job of it. All right, all right. Sometimes there'd be another group of demons appear. Maybe it's be the reason they didn't appear this time is because the archivist was taken out early. So, if you take out the archivist, maybe that prevents the second group of demons from attacking. Or not. Alright, alright. This book is badly burned. You can make out a word here and there, and that is all. Continue. The door won't hold, Archivist. Almost done. The, the truth must be told. What does it matter? We're dead. Our grand rebellion so close. And to die here, a, a stillbirth. We never should have done it. Wardens aren't supposed to oppose kings and princes. Should we stand idly by while... Another one. Rebellion? What's this about a rebellion? If only the book weren't burned. Maybe there are other records. We can only hope. Vase over there has got something in it. <clears throat> Make them pay for every inch, men! Hold the flank! Avernus, we need you! 
Nelatep Obrasuth Sithan Net Bekon. Andraste's blood! What? More Avernus! Whatever it takes! Kaili A. Benfotos Victos! I command you, fight the king's men! Fool! So much death, suffering, and oh yes, blood! The veil is torn now. Your soul is mine, Avernus! Acolytes, retreat now! The battle is lost! Avernus! What just happened? Oh no, more fighting. Oh boy. Okay, um. Lifeless bastards. <laughs> I'll get him. Breaking a sweat. These dead wardens bring the uh, health back up of the primary demon there, the rage demon. So. Have your main guy take them out first. Now, there'll be a second group who will appear here soon. So just let your minions fight the rage demon while you wait for them to reappear. Okay, here they come. I love how desperate you are. You're pathetic! <laughs> you to take health poultices, lesser ones. Is it time to kill something? <laughs> Got it. Oh, the warden summoned demons. Can't believe it. And my grandmother, she knew. Wardens don't forbid blood magic. Anything it takes to win. I believed that my family was better than that. But answers may lay up ahead. You gotta look around for the rage demon. It's got this nice staff. Dragon Bone, Winter's Breath, Staff. Something that Morrigan could use. Keeping in mind that cold usually doesn't affect undead creatures all that much. And then there's this vase. Vase over here. Lesser injury kit. Alright, alright. <laughs> this shall be fun. <laughs> Okay, right here is Raspberry Jam. I'll get on it. The History of Soldiers Peak Chapter 3. That's something you want to get. There's a nice treasure at the end of that quest. Okay, there's something blocking the doorway here. Can't get through, apparently. Wonder why that is. Now well, there's a doorway over here, we'll go through it. Step no further, Warden. This one would speak with you. Who or what are you? This one is the Dryden, Commander, Sophia. <laughs> All these things. Grandmother? You have slain many of the demon ilk to get here. 
this one would propose a deal. Levi, I'm afraid your great-great-grandmother is possessed. That or she's really let herself go. My great-great-grandmother is dead. I don't know what that is. Is anything of the real Sophia left inside you? This one has tasted her memories, seen her thoughts and hidden places. But she is food for this one. No more, no less. Tell me about this deal. You can't be serious. There's nothing left of Commander Dryden. She's possessed. Your fledgling should mind its place. Meek, subservient, quiet. This one will answer your question. The soldier's peak traps me. This one sees so many tantalizing places in the Dryden's memories. This one would see the world herself. For me to be free, into the old mage tower you go and destroy. In return, this one seals the veil. No more demons. No more enemies. Your peak would be safe. Just let this one go into the world. Hmm. Before I make a deal... Yes. Persuade. Sweeten the deal. What do I get out of this personally? Your kind likes gold, yes? This one knows of all hidden places. If you help... This knowledge is yours. I'm off to break the tower then. Now, you could say other things to her, like you tell Levi anything wants to know, blah, blah, blah. But, or you could ask her to tell you more about the tower. But, uh, we're just going to go off to break it. Good, good. Nothing must live. Nash stone with teeth if you can. Infernal dealings. Look. Journal there. Big monk axe. Got it. Now, the hidden treasure, after she reveals it to you, will be around this area here, near the ch in this chimney area. Uh, it'll be a loose stone. You just have to activate it. Okay, now we're going to get rid of the rallies. Say the word. Yeah, we don't really need them. The opponents we're up against aren't that tough. Except, well, he doesn't have his on. It's because he got knocked out, apparently. Where's everybody? You guys coming? Hello? Come on. Okay, I guess we're all here. Where are we? Where's Alistair? Come on, Alistair. Jeez, what are you doing? Sightseeing? Anyway, as I was saying, um, yeah. I'm going to put everybody in hold positions. I see a Crap, right ahead. <laughs> I shall. Got one. Okay, everybody fall in. How close is Liliana to leveling up? Real close. Got it.
You guys done yet? You gonna take all day for this or what? Make a preserve us. Uh, this appears to be old research of the mage of Vernus. They detail a series of experiments in terse clinical handwriting. Day 32. The subject is not responding to the stimuli. Testing the pain threshold has uncovered nothing. Only three subjects are left. Day 82. If only I could reproduce last night's extraordinary success. Electricity is only a catalyst. The blood is the key. Day 97. Energy and blood. Repeated applications have duplicated the results. I conjecture that success can be induced alchemically. But there are no more subjects left. If only I had one more or a dozen. The things I could do. He was experimenting on his own people. This guy needs to die. This noxious potion appears to be the culmination of the Vernus's horrific research. Continue promises to unlock the hidden potential of the tainted blood he drank during the joining. Yep, might as well get some benefit from it. Drink the vial's contents. Pain wrecks your body, but there's power in this pain and a hint of understanding. Now, if you look to your spells and talents, you find a new category, Power of Blood. Dark Passage is passive, and it states, Tapping the power of tainted blood makes your rogue more nimble, able to move more quickly while using stealth, and more likely to dodge a physical attack. And this other one is the Tainted Blade. It's a sustained ability. Your blood gushes forth, causing bonus damage. To me, I think it's stupid. But this one, Dark Passage, is nice. It's a nice little bonus to various things. Uh, I doubt she ever used the Tainted Blood one, where she cuts her, her vein and has blood gush out on her enemies. And there's Avernus. I hear you. Don't disrupt my concentration. Even now, the demons seek to replenish their numbers. Are you to thank for this welcomed but temporary imbalance? The old warden mage? <laughs> You're still alive. Only just. I have only a short time left. Careful. This man has dabbled in matters forbidden by the Maker. He may look frail, but don't trust him. So the Maker told you that, did he? Short-sighted men have forbidden my research, not any god. <laughs> Enough. Why are you here? What is your intent? Liliana apparently thinks that Ruby's a bit of a nincompoop. She's always giving her unneeded advice on how to deal with people. Anyway, I want some answers. To what questions, I wonder? Ask. Sophia's great-grandson brought me here. Levi, go ahead with your questions. Master Mage, uh, sir, my family name has been worth less than dirt for over a century. Do you have any proof that Sophia was a hero? The boy who braved the mists. So you heeded my call. <laughs> and you are a Dryden. The cosmos has a sense of humor. Just answer Levi's question. So I can... Your great-great-grandmother was the best of us. Brave, charismatic, fiery, utterly devoted to the fight. But still we lost. We fought against a tyrant, you know, so full of vigor then, so blind to consequence. But proof? 
There's none to be had. I'm sorry, Eli. Uh, I had hoped. But thank you, Warden. The time for questions is over. So be it. My only request, if justice or <laughs> vengeance drive you, stay your hand until the demons are dealt with. I have an oath to keep. All in this tower will die. My body may be frail, but my sorcery is not. Okay. Diana, put your bow out. Move over here. Alistair. Charge of Ernest, Roland. Charge of Ernest, Shield Bash. Ruby, go off to the side. Good right. to go! I want to die again. <laughs> I. I could. Okay, everybody freeze. Leilana, go and get the rest <laughs> of those traps. Get yourself leveled up if you can. Yes, of course. Oh, she's not good enough to do that, I guess. This arm failed, okay. Ruby? Go ahead and take care of it. Gold piece here. Alright, this is the final clue, I believe. Something on this corpse. History of Soldiers Peak, Chapter 4, Quest Updated. Find Commander Asturian's secret cache. He learned about the establishment of the base, blah blah blah. Records state he may have built secrets into the base. It's hidden something important. You found the clues. Where do they lead? They lead to a painting. Which I shall show to you shortly. Of the Vernus, gold and silver. Now let us return. We have a demon to deal with. Got it. The maelstrom has subsided. The Magus' web is destroyed. This one remembers the deal. Come, follow. Gossamer strands only stand between this world and home. Feel it? So deliciously weak here, so frail. The entire world should be as such. But this one will feed the veil, make it strong. My brethren will not make it easy. Are you ready? I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Then we begin. Okay, Roland, probably get an injury. Cunning? Ah, you don't need your cunning. And let's get rid of your threaten ability. You're not really that well protected that you want to be threatening things all the time. Um, yeah. Clear that. Alright. Go ahead and do rallies, guys. Gonna need all the help you can get. Oh, he's already got rally activated. So, oh, no he doesn't. Go 
Go back to your bow and arrows, Liliana. I'm here. Yes. You're gonna regret this! <laughs> Got her knocking her butt too. Why don't you head over across the room, Liliana? Make his breath. They won't know what hit. Take some potions. Potion time. Potion time. Tell me what to do. All right. What do you attack? Ready. Thank the maker. Uh, I'll get on it. Now that desire demon had three and a half gold. That's pretty good. Sure you don't forget that. All Get right, all right. Okay. All right, we're gonna save it. Make sure everybody's healed up. Leyland, go ahead and level up. We're gonna give you some more dexterity, I think. Hmm. Yeah. And we want you to be stealthy. Not very good at stealth, but at least it's something. In case I want her to uh, not be seen from a distance, for example. Okay. Save again. And it is done. Your veil is strong. This one has kept its word. Now this one will go. There is much to do. There is still the little matter of payment. In the Dryden's quarters, a stone on the wall, carefully concealed. It holds the gold this one promised. Intimidation. Levi has questions for you. You're going to answer. That was not the agreement. This one promised no such answers. Intimidate. Answer his questions. Or die, demon. Oh. Ask, human. Ask quickly. Grandmother, Sophia, she knew about the blood magic then? Yes, she did. Avernus was powerful, useful. It suited her ambitions. Uh, she's going to listen. Usually she'd probably ignore this conversation, but there may be some folks out there that haven't heard it yet, so she'll listen. But my grandmother was a hero. In her own mind, yes. She aspired to rule the land of the waking. 
to cast out the tyrant king, to mete out justice to those who betrayed her. Cousin Arland was so coy, so devious, years before she sensed the asp. Uh, listen? I... I don't understand. The old king died without kin, and the Dryden sought to don the crown. But the boy Arland was thought pliable by those in power. Fools. The Dryden, powerful, charismatic, insightful, and ignored. They gave her a choice. Death or the Wardens. Listen? She bided her time. She waited. She lived. The boy King Arlen spread terror, spread death, and the Dryden plotted. But Arlen's spies were too clever. She was discovered, and her last battle was here. Listen. And you, demon? How did you come to take her? When the Avernus deserted her, the Dryden would not die. Fierce pride, lovely, delicious terror. This one came to her. She would live in a fashion. And so she does, for this one is honest. Do you have any proof of this? Any proof of her good deeds and bad? Poor ilk of this body. This one has nothing, only words lost in the wind. I'm sorry, Levi. I don't know what to think. The whole family held to the belief that Sophia was a hero. Truth is, she was, and she wasn't. Thanks, though. The truth. The truth is good to know. Our business is at an end. I kept my word. Now I can kill you with a clear conscience. What? This one will grind your bones in my teeth. Okay, Liliana. Why don't you run over there, Alistair, you do a shield bash, and Roland, you do a shield pummel. On what? it now. I get you a light, you can get off my back. Ah! 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 Let's see some blood! You've done it, Warden. Soldier's Peak is safe again. A good thing you took care of that Avernus. A blood mage. In the Wardens. Common folk should never hear of that. Some still distrust Wardens, even in a blight. Crazy buggers. But there was no proof to redeem my family. Your grandmother I'm not sure about. But you're a good man. Well, I owe. Uh, thanks, Warden. For so long, I was focused on the past, on answers. But I think I would have been better off had I stayed at home. Enough of that, though. I find myself at a loss. You've got a whole fortress now. I suppose I should start plying my trade again. Any chance I could convince you to stay on? You know I'm no good in a fight, but I'm a fair trader if I do say so myself. My cousins have been looking for a safe place to store trade goods, and the peak will do nicely. Whatever the Drydens have to offer are yours, for a sizable discount. Looks like we're done here. A demonic invasion thwarted, a warden base safely rescued. We do good work. Hmm. Where is her corpse? Ah, there it is. Sophia! Dragon Bone, Warden Commander Boots, Armor, and Gloves. Take all. Alistair, this is for you. That looks nice. Armor Class 38, that's pretty awesome. And there's nice bonuses when he's got the complete set, which he does. Um, the character gains a bonus to health. It's three ten points to health. And spells or talents cost less to activate. So he gets tired less quickly. Alright, now we need to go collect our gold. Now's better than later. 
see the twinkleys there, hidden stash. Eight gold pieces. And the final treasure. Okay, let's turn off your... Your wish? Your rallies. Okay, guys? Right. Kind, kind of annoying. Thank you. Alright, over here is the painting of Asturian killing a dark spawn. Asturian's portrait. They land your heads in the way. Activate that. You found an old painting, one dating back to Commander Asturian's times. Perhaps Asturian's history points to this. Recite the Grey Warden Oath. <clears throat> now pops a secret chest. Asturian's Might, Silverite, Shadow Belt. That'll be nice for Liliana. Master Cold Iron Rune and a gold key. One and a half gold. Okay, Liliana, let's put that new belt on. Plus 3% melee critical chance and reduces hostility. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, she's not strong enough to wear armor of diligence, but she will be. Because we're going to give her what she needs. Okay, first of all. Vanguard and Barbarian Mace. It gives her a total of plus four to her strength. Now she can wear it. Gloves of Diligence. Armor of Diligence. All she needs now is the Boots of Diligence. wonder if Bowden's got those for sale. Anyway, right now our armor class is 28. Now she can find the Boots of Diligence, perhaps back at camp. Character gains a bonus to willpower. That would be nice. Okay. Probably make her, uh, her stamina go up to 226 with that. Okay, now, the new sword is good against dark spawn. Hmm. Good against dark spawn. Alistair's got a dragon bone sword that I like. He's got a red steel axe. This might be a good weapon to give to Roland. Um, it weakens nearby dark spawn. Plus one armor penetration, plus two to damage. Probably be a better weapon for him. We'll need to put the um, runes into it. And we'll give him Buckle the Wind so his defense is higher. Make up for losing the axe, which adds to his dexterity. Okay. Got some things to do back at camp. Let's go. Okay, now she's got heavy armor on, but that's okay because she's a master archer. She can still shoot normally with heavy armor. All right, all right. I like having at least one archer in the group because they're deadly with those arrows of slaying versus mages. Especially if you combine that with stealth.
Gather your party and venture forth. Yes, we're going to go to camp. Save. Okay, first of all. Enchantment? I need some enchantment. Enchantment! Alright, let's... Take bloodline, take those out of there. Because we're not using bloodline right now. Um... Asturian's Might. Expert Flame Rune. And Expert Silverite Rune. That could be good for him. The Fire would be good against some dead. Probably get a bonus. Point or two. And then you get plus six damage versus Dark Spawn. Topsider's Honor. Expert. Master. This does plus 8 versus Undead. Cold Damage. Plus 4 Cold Damage. Or plus 6 versus Undead. Could make this an Undead killing weapon. <laughs> <laughs> um, plus six. Oops, that was the wrong one. Okay, that's twelve plus twenty damage versus. No, that's dark spawn there. So it's plus six versus dark spawn and plus fourteen versus undead. Additional plus six makes it plus twenty. That is really deadly against undead, undead creatures. <clears throat> now we could make another weapon for Alistair. As a backup weapon. For example, against a dragon. You could equip him with that if he's going to be fighting a dragon. It's got plus six cold damage. Conventional dragon is a fiery creature. Cold would probably be harmful to it. Eucerus. Give him a bit of frost rune for that. And a journeyman lightning rune. And we'll sell these two uh, novice runes. Or we can put them in vanguard, I guess, for storage. It's a solid guy. Six spell resistance. It's not bad. Okay. Sell some stuff. If there's anything I can do for you, please, please tell me. Let me see your wares, Bodan. I'm sure you'll be. You have armor of diligence. She needs boots of diligence. Don't apparently sell them here. It's unfortunate. Effort. Huh, I could get Liliana the Phoenix Battle Maiden armor for twelve gold.
Let's see what it looks like. It's 12. It's not like we don't have plenty of money right now. Six. Eighteen. And that would be 22. Yeah, we can afford that. We'll get her the Battle Maiden outfit. Okay, Leyland, let's check it out. That's pretty. Pretty good armor class. Resistances. Fire resistance at 45%. That's pretty good. Okay. We'll let her have that. Ruby's gift to Leliana. And the rest of the stuff will probably sell. And the Gloves of Diligence are still very good. Let's give those to Roland. Armor of Diligence to Roland. And... <sighs> Probably just leave these boots. His boots are pretty awesome he's got. And then I'll sell the rest of the stuff. Or not. See if, uh... Everyone can use some of this, these things. Roland's gloves. That would be 2.2 armor. Chance to avoid missile attacks. Sure. Um, Roland's armor. 6.8 plus 3 armor. 9.8. Uh, Verithorn's armor is actually a little better, I think, overall. So we'll sell this stuff. Hmm. Yeah. Heavy chainmail boots, dragon bone. Hmm. 
And Verthorn's boot or um Roland's boots. Where are they? Here they are. Viridium. That's not too bad. I guess everyone will go with this. Now Verthorn's armor isn't being used by anyone at this point. So let's give that to Winifred. She could use better armor. And it would add to her willpower. Here you go, Winifred. Verthorn's armor, silverite. Now she's already got the Elven Glove, which adds to her armor. Enchantress Footing. Her defense is so horrible, I think it's better just give her better armor class. These Antivan leather boots give her some spell resistance. That'd be useful to her. There we go. Alright, I think we're set. Save. Just got done doing a lot of work. I don't want to have to go through that again. You and your friends are formidable folk, indeed. It's good to have you along. I'm okay. That's Alistair's backup weapon for fighting dragons, I guess. So these... Hmm, which is breath. Uh, that would be a good weapon to use against a dragon, just like Bloodline would be. So we'll hang on to both those. So this armor that we're no longer using. Get rid of this novice frost room. Just taking up space in the backpack. Yeah, we should probably turn that lyrium dust into potions, lyrium potions. Yep. Oh, uh, death root's getting down a bit. And need one lesser health poultice, or a few of them. There we go. Save. <sighs> Let's see, Stem's got a good outfit. Alistair's looking good with his Grey Warden armor. Zevron's got a complete set of armor. He's belonging to Roland. Liliana, Ruby took some gold and set her up nicely with battle maiden armor. Kind of a sister armor to the matriarch that Ruby owns. And then we got Wen. I must ask, what does being a Grey Warden mean to you? I suppose it's about killing as many darkspawn as possible. There's that, of course. But there's more to being a Grey Warden than killing darkspawn and saving the world from the blight. Is it going to be a quiz? Being a Grey Warden is about serving others. About serving all people, whether elves or dwarves or men. You mean to say I serve as a protector? As a Grey Warden, you are a guardian of men. And you guard them because their continued existence is more important than you are. Thus it is you who serves, not they. I will keep that in mind. Can I go now? A good king, a true king who cares for his land, uses his power to rule firmly but fairly. He serves his people first and foremost. The king who does not do this, who believes that he is entitled to his power, who abuses it, and uses it for his own means, is a tyrant. <sighs> so in a way, having power confines you. I get it. Can I go now? If you live apart from others, and your actions affect only you, then you may do as you wish. Thank you. But if you have power, influence, and strength, 
Your every action will be as a drop of water in a clear, still pond. The drop causes ripples, and ripples spread. Think of how far they will go, how wide they will become, how will they affect the pond. But I've lectured enough for today. I, I should guess. stop before I wear out my welcome. Thank the maker. All right, bye-bye. Okay. Come to talk to old Ogren, have you? Don't know why. What's wrong, Augie? I don't know. I just... I guess we're pretty good friends now, right? No, I just, not really. I just keep thinking about all that slag with Bronca. How I've turned out. I always said I was this way because she left, but I think maybe she left because of how I am. She underestimated you. No, she just estimated me. She knew how I was, and because of that, she left without me. Worked out in my favor, though. I'm here fighting the good fight, not fed to Keridan's traps or her pet darkspawn. Did you want to talk about something? No, not really. Just saying hello. I well, hello. And holding my breath while talking to you. Okay. All right, it's a bright new morning, and Ruby's ready for a new day. But we're going to end it here. This is Moonstalker with That Place for Walkthroughs with Ruby Kuzland of Dragon Age Origins. Catch you on the flip side.